YouTube. What's up with you? Right now, I'm recording this off of my phone right now. So, I'm not sure if the sync is going to be all that high. But, I am at home. I am chilling. Today's Mother's Day. But I did get a special call and a special request to do this quick video about my past life. Yes, there was a past life before I got into trucking. And that past life was, I used to own my own business. Um, I used to do uh, roadside assistance back in the day. Now, you guys know what roadside assistance is. I'm sure all of you has had someone... One time or another, you locked your keys in your car, or you ran out of fuel, or you needed a tire change, what have you. At one time or another, you called me, Lockout Man, to come and service you to get you back on the road. Well, I got a, I got a request. So how I got into the business? Well, at one point, I locked my keys in my car i had a ford explorer back in the day and i locked my keys in the car and i called on my cell phone and um and they sent a guy over to unlock my car so i was like hey uh dude how you get into this type of business huh how how can I get into this type of business, man? This is kind of cool. What's what's that about? He said, "Well, as a matter of fact, the 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 guy needed another guy for the east side." He was like, "I was like, huh? East side?" I was like, "Like this area or something like that?" He was like, "Yeah." So of course I made that call, and I went and talked to the guy, and he says, "Yo." Yeah, I'm gonna need somebody to, to to work on the east side of town. I was like, cool. Well, I'm, I'm your guy. You know, let's let's make this thing happen. So he says, uh, you know, I filled out the paperwork, and uh, and boom, there I am in the roadside profession. Got a couple of calls, did the damn thing, got my skills set up. Later down the line, the company was sold. So. I decided, me and another guy, we both decided we know the same people, you know, that we deal with. Why don't we start our own thing? Cool, let's do it. So, we started our own company together, which was ERS Emergency Road Services. I say about a year into it, uh, the one guy that I was partnered with kind of like went back to work. So, that was kind of cool. So it was just ERS Emergency Road Services on my own. Later down the line, I decided to change the name to ERS Lockouts and Road Services. And it's just been the thing going from there. But enough about my past. This subscriber uh, wants to know the tools that I use and the tools that I got to do the damn thing. And here it is. Here it is. This is it. This is the tool bag. SS Tools. Uh, you can go to sstools.com. That's the phone number 1 800 323 Tech. High Tech Tools. Here's. This is the, the window. This is for those type of cars that don't have that don't have like the door jams that don't have this and it just have like the window that come all the way up you pry it open and you stick it in like that and then you work the tool that way um let's see we have uh, let's see this is the this is the l tool right here and as you can tell, this is, you can tell why it's the L tool. You had the long end right here, and you had the short end right here to get into doors like this. You know what I'm saying? These these type of locks right here, these this tool right here 
is what's good. You can like stick it in there, go up under it, and slide the lock up. That's the that's the L tool. Um, this is the AR. This is the AR reverse tool. It's the same as the L tool, except for the hook. Oh no, the AR tool. I'm sorry. The reverse tool. I'll show you the reverse tool in a minute. But this is the AR tool. It has the long end and the short end. Uh, this is the tool that you can use to get into uh, Ford Explorers, uh, 08 models, all the way up to like the 2015 models, some 2016 models. And you can use this tool to go in the back, the back door. You can use that to go into the back door. Uh, this tool right here is like the rubber tool. This tool sucks, to be honest with you, but it's for those it's it's for those locks that has something like that has something like this that has a little bit of the little bit of the lock showing. And you can use this to go in, use the rubber part, grab it, and slide it up. I don't use this tool. I don't use this tool. I'll I'll show you the the tool that I mainly like to uh, to grab doors like that. Uh, this is the same tool, just different. Um, this is the in the door window tool. I I used to use this tool a lot. This this tool is like, you know, you you take it. You take it, and what you do, you slide it down when it gets up under the window. And this part right here is going to slide up, so it's going to be on the other side of the window. And what you can do is work it down to some of them cars that have the lock mechanism where the door handle is at. That's where, that's where this tool can come in. You can get up under it, slide it. And then when you open up the door, you can slide it back down and take it out. That's what this tool is. Uh, here go the wedge. This wedge is for the, you know, for the, for the door, for the door jam. It, you know, it just, just pushes the door open a little bit, give you a little gap so you can have something to work with. That's the door jam. Uh... All right, here's the AR reverse tool. This is what I was telling you about. This is a tool. Oh no, not this is the same tool. AR tool, just a different style. This is the AR reverse tool, okay? And this is the tool I was telling you guys about what I like to use for Ford F-150s. Let me let me show you right quick. Let me show you right. With the AR tool, I'm about to show you guys right quick. Uh, why I like this tool. I want to demonstrate on my truck. Huh? Oh. No, 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 no. It's the other way. Oh. That way. Are you coming from the front side camera? All right. So, basically, here. Oh. So, basically, what I like to do is pretty much use this side because it's a little bit longer than, it's a little bit longer. I don't want to use this side because it's too long. So I like to use this side. So basically what I do is use this tool. Use this like this. Go in. I, I can't see anything. No, you don't Because you're filming it from, I yeah. don't know what I'm looking at. You Because you're not looking at it. You, I, no, I literally don't know what I'm looking at. I'm just holding it. All right, so come on this side. Come on this side so they can see. Do you have the keys so the alarm doesn't go off? Yeah, I got the, the door right there. Just unlock it first. What? I need I need it locked so I can demonstrate. Oh. All right, so, like I said, you just stick this right here, the wedge into the door. Use your L tool. Go down to where the door lock is at. Where you see the door lock. Come up on it. Pull it up. Just like that. Just like that. Thank you. Thank you very much for holding that for me. Just, 
Oh, yeah, I need that, too. All right. Yep, just like that. That's just to give you guys an idea on how to use the uh, AR tool to get into the uh, to get into the truck. Uh, or any any vehicles that has this type of uh, this type of a uh, of a lock right there. Uh, so basically, those those are my main tools that I that I usually use. You have I have other tools in here as well. Uh, they're all numbered. They're all numbered, and also it comes with a a lockout book so the book you want to upgrade your book every year but as you guys may know some of the newer vehicles that's coming out now you know some you know some people will probably kick us out of business because they got that orange star like this vehicle right here my mom's car she got that orange star stuff and all they have to do is just hit a button and it'll unlock but for you guys for them that that don't have the new cars all these tools right here these different tools right here by access tools can unlock a very a, um, a very a very number of different cars you know you have you have tools like this like my AR tool you you have this tool like this. It's like the AR tool. You know, you go in and use the bottom hook and then come on up and use the top hook. Very, very sweet. Very sweet. So this kit right here, this kit right here, I basically upgraded this kit last year or uh, three years ago before... I uh, got into truck driving, so I I went on ahead and upgraded it, and I got some more. I got some more uh, tools. So, but this kit right here, this is the master kit. Don't look all that, but this is the master kit, and this kit costed me about three ninety nine from SS Tools. Uh, I'd say probably a couple of couple of extra dollars for the additional tools that I got. But this is the master kit that I have. I still have it. You know, like I said, it's, I'm out of the business because I'm a truck driver. But I'm, I still got it just in case I need it. You know, I used to do, um, I used to do trucks. I used to do uh, big rigs. Charge a lot of money to get into big rigs. There's one more tool that I want to show you guys that I use a lot, and it's became one of my favorite tools. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it is. Hold on. All right. So the other tools that I like to use, and there are my favorite, is the long reach tool, which. I don't have, but I can show you the smaller version of it. This is the smaller version of the long reach tool right here. This is for, you know, getting into cars that got the door locks that like towards the, that's towards the end. And you can use this to go in and unlock or pull the door open. My other tool is the button tool. This is what you call the button tool right here. Uh, you can also get this from from access tools and this this is my this is one of my favorite tools because I can if you if the lock is like a couple of inches up I can use this I can use this to grab the uh, grab the lock and uh, pull it up this tool right here is the same thing it's just a little bit smaller it's a little bit smaller uh, my air jacks that I got. I got the super air jack right here, or at least I got two of them. I got two super air jacks right there. Then I got the small air jack right there, and I got the AW air wedge. You just uh, slide it in and pump the door open. But what you want to do, 
when you uh, pump the door open. And once you unlock the door, don't open the door immediately, all right? You don't want to open the door immediately. What you want to do is you want to you want to you want to unlock the door first. You want to let the air out first and then you want to unlock the door. You don't want to you don't want to pop the you don't want to pop the door open while the airbag is still inflated and you open up the door and it you know sort of mess so, up. So the best suggestion that I can give anybody out here that wants to get into the roadside game is to go to the Baltimore Toll Show. All right. The Baltimore Toll Show is the Toll Man Instant it's the Toll Man Exposition Expo. And it's held out in Baltimore every year. Around November, I believe. Um that will be the best place to go to. It will have every um roadside assistance clients that you want out there. You will also get seminars about how to get into vehicles, seminars on how to tow vehicles, seminars on how to change new tires on these uh new low profile vehicles. Um it's awesome. It's awesome. It's just like it's just like the Great American Truck Show out in Dallas, but this is like for tow drivers and all like that, tow truck drivers and and uh and roadside assistance uh people that's in the industry. So that would be my best advice for you. Make sure you you look it up. Just type in Baltimore Toll Show or Toll Man Exposition and you will get all the information you need to know. Oh, wait, wait. I had a I had another question. <laughs> I had another question. Um a question that was asked of me about the uh, auto relock systems and how will I know which uh which cars they are? Majority of them are Toyotas. Um, Toyotas has a auto relock system. When you pull the door from the inside, when you, when you go in and you pull the door handle from the inside and you don't catch it, it'll relock. Those are the cars that has the auto relock systems. This uh, nice little quick video. I guess you want to call it a tutorial or something like that. No, I wouldn't call it a tutorial. I'll just call it a quick video, you know, that my subscriber requested for me to do right quick. And if you guys have anything else that you uh, that you want me to talk about or or show you or anything like that, happy Mother's Day. You're welcome, ma'am. I'm all right in yourself. Uh, sorry about that. But if you have any other questions or anything like that, or if you want me to do a, to do a video on something, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Until then, you guys have a blessed day, a blessed evening. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And to all you truck drivers, if you're driving today, make sure you stay safe. This is Lockout Men, and I will see you again in the next video. You guys take it easy.